Alright, what's going on guys? Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Clash Clans gameplay commentary. So a little bit of sorry for this a little bit of a late upload. I wanted to upload earlier, but um I did go to Proud Gamers and did record their award. They actually just recently had so let's go first with this attack. And this was by the way a twenty five versus twenty five war I believe. Um if I'm not mis no, it, I think no, it was, I think it was ten versus ten. My bad. I think it was ten versus ten. And yeah, I believe it was 10 versus 10. So anyway, Nicholas is going win, going in with four golems. And looks like it's a go wee wee strategy or golems and wizards only. And it honestly is pretty cool what he did on this base. So he did send out his golems and did drop a couple of rage spells. So the golems and the couple of wizards can get inside the core and just soak up a lot of damage. So looks like the queen is going to snipe the town hall with the rage spell. And tomorrow, guys... Um, I think, and I'm not sure it's going to be later today, but I believe most likely tomorrow around noon, I did a special collaboration with a YouTuber, so stay tuned for that. Probably it's going to be uploaded tomorrow because he has to edit the video, but it's pretty sweet. So, But anyway, it looks like Nicholas is going to use the ability, the Iron Cloak, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a two-star, so good job to Nicholas. And this war was actually extremely close. Um... The other team used every single attack, they used all 20 attacks, and we used about 18, I believe, so this was a very, very close war throughout, and honestly, if um, if we didn't use the attacks that we actually had, we would have lost the war easily, and this was just a very, actually, very close war throughout the whole, um, I guess, war. So, for the second raid is by... Metafame and looks like he is, he is carrying the Lunian strategy with a couple minions and very good placement for balloons. I mean, this base would just get destroyed with balloons. I mean, this player really couldn't do much with balloons. I mean, against the balloon strategy. So, uh, very good job to Metafame. Now with balloons, once you take care of the defenses, if you don't have enough minions and heroes and clan castle troops. Um, your war is pretty much time. Will you have enough time to destroy the buildings? And I think Metafame did have enough time to destroy all the buildings. So he had plenty of balloons to destroy. But again, the time is a big factor be because balloons are very, very slow. Even though they do a lot of damage, they are still pretty slow. They're actually one of the slowest troops. Um, like I think Giants and the balloons are the slowest. So... Anyway, he has enough time, so it looks like Metafame is going to get this extra 1-star for us, which actually was a clutch because we really did need that 1-star. And we were only winning by 1-star, and they still had one attack left. And we had a couple left, but I wasn't sure we were going to use all of them. So their number 7 guy could have, uh, I think it was 3-star, or I think 10 guy or 7 guy or something, and could have tied the war. So it was very intense. Um, looks like Ace is coming in with a couple Hog Riders and a few Heal Spells. So let's see what he does here. So looks like he has a couple of Valkyries and a couple of Healers with him as well. And once he destroys those two other air defenses, um, it's going to be pretty much the Valkyries going in with a couple of Healers. So I think maybe that's one Healer. I can't really see, but yeah. Um, looks like he's got a lot of Valkyries and I think this is a pretty good raid. Interesting army. Ace chose so yeah a couple of Valks uh, wizards uh, I mean he drops his heroes and interesting he's got a level 15 queen and a level 1 king hey you know what if he likes the queen better to upgrade that's fine and look at those Valkyries yeah that's the one healer but look at those Valkyries I believe those are max level Valkyries and wow they just destroy look look at the town hall's health I mean it's just gonna pretty much get destroyed within seconds of Valkyries and all the other troops. So Valkyries are very, very strong troops. They're most they're pretty underrated, but they are pretty good. So anyway, good job to Ace for this fantastic three star. And honestly, without these three stars, there was uh, possibly no way we would have actually won this war. So Moha Blade and this is the raid. This is the second I believe the second or the last raid that our clan had and we really needed to actually um, kind of get a, another star or two, you know, we really needed this because we didn't want to have a tie war or something like that because, you know, tie wars are not fun uh, when you tie. So, 
And I was actually surprised Moha Blade because the first time he attacked, he didn't earn any stars, I don't think, or maybe one star. But he really, I told the whole clan, you guys better attack because we cannot afford to lose this. And looks like Moha Blade is going in, going in with a couple of golems and a couple of wizards behind. So that was an interesting rage spell right there. But it wasn't the best placement, but he does drop a third rage spell and that's all his spells. And now it's just a matter of troops destroying the other defenses and the buildings. So it looks like the king and the queen and everybody's just going to get inside the core. And I think he did a very good job executing this raid. And just good job to my whole clan, Proud Gamers. Um, I really did want to record this war because I think they did lose a previous war, a small one. But they did... Uh, actually put the effort into this one so looks like he's gonna wrap it up guys and it looks like a three star from here I mean um, got a couple wizards alive the queen so yeah this is gonna be a three star but good job proud gamers very very close war and it was a pretty clutch moment this actually happened um, so anyway you guys are gonna see the score in just a second very close war throughout and it was 25 to 23 so anyway Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Unfortunately, we didn't use all attacks, but we did manage to barely pull this one out. So good job to Proud Gamers. And if we could smash 40 likes for this video, that would be amazing. And as always, I'll see you all on the next video. And make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's collaboration video.